Okay everyone, hello and welcome to some more Stobart reviews. Now the models I'm going to show you now are actually by Corgi but they were put in like the Super Hauler range. So I've got my old Stobart catalogue out and the ones that I'm going to show you, in fact I'm just going to have to move this back a bit so I can just show you a bit better, are the Ford Cargo Box Van, the Mercedes Van, the Ford Escort Van, the Ford Transit Personal Carrier, the Forklift Truck and a smaller Ford Transit Van. Now these have been in a box so they are quite dusty so you'll have to just bear with me um, because I haven't had them out for some time. So let's start off with the Escort Van. As you can see it's in the old Eddie Stobart livery and now if you're wondering what these number plates are these don't come with the models these were some transfers I found lying around I think they're off old scale electric cars um, that I found in a box so I managed to put them onto here just to make them look a bit more realistic and that was at the time when I used to play with them loads um, as you can see it's really lightweight um, this particular van is roadside maintenance as you can tell and it is just like a roadside maintenance van that obviously serviced the fleet. Um, I can't remember if the back door's open, I don't think they do. So that's that one out of the way. But this one in particular was the first Stobart van I actually had. Um, as I used to go to a market with my granddad, um, and we used to buy Stobart models and take them home and play with them but that was long ago um, obviously I still keep them because it brings back memories and due to them being Stobart so that's that one right the next one I'm going to show you is the Ford cargo van as you can see it is pretty toy like um, but I thought I might as well show you all the models that I've got anyway because it would be a waste not to as you can see it's in the old Stobart livery um, and this back door here does actually open or it did when I used to play with it um, obviously having trouble getting it open so I'll leave it shut but it does open and if you have got this model you'll pretty know that it opens anyway but that's the Ford cargo box van now the next one I'm going to show you is a newer model and um, this is a Ford Transit van and um, it's called Louise or Louis Louis is it Louise uh, I think it's just Louise but Lois or something like that anyway better not get too frustrated about that and um, obviously this is lightweight as well and um, this is like a mini buzz obviously the employees went in this to meetings um, or drivers went to places in it um, not too sure um, but it says on the back personnel carry so I'm guessing I might be right but luckily I can show you that these doors open and if we look just inside we can see all the seats so if we take a look at the other side now we can see it's exactly the same so that's the transit van now the next one I'm going to show you is a smaller version of a transit van um, but this again is in the old livery um, nothing opens on this particular model um, and as you can see compared to this one it is quite small so this is just a basic transit van model so the next one that we have here this is the Mercedes van, um, it's a roadside maintenance one um, in the old Eddie Stobart livery um, this particular one's called Cherie um, and this one I haven't put a number plate on but you can see it says H68SAO so this actually was pre in the fleet at the time and this door here does open 
but it's that long since I've had them out. I think the door's maybe sticking a bit. Oh no, there we go. Now as you can see, perhaps they put the tools or whatever inside there. And as you can see on this one, the back door's open as well. So you can probably see how much room they had to put all the equipment in. So that's that one out of the way. Right, the next one that I have here is the Eddie Stobart Fort Lift. Um, this came out later on into the year. Um, as you can see, it's based on a front loader and it has got its own driver in. And it is a really nice little model, this is. Um, and what I'm really pleased with about this is this green lever here, if you just watch now, you can see that the forks go up. So if I turn it the other way, you can see that the forks go down again. Um, so that's the fork lift. Now one van that isn't in the Stobart catalogue, but that did manage to get hold of, is yet another one, but in James Earlham livery. Um, this was a rare one that I managed to get hold of, and it's a service support unit. Um, it's a bit like this one really. In fact they're pretty one of the same thing, but one might be an earlier van. But as you can see, it's in the old Earlham livery, which is now I'm afraid obsolete. Um, I think there was a truck still in the Earlham colours at the Stoke depot, but used as a shunter. Um, but obviously the head office, which used to be at Chelford, is now Stobart. Um, if you've ever drove, driven there, not driven, driven through Chelford, you will have seen it. And there is a video on my channel of the Chelford depot, but obviously Stobart trucks coming out of there, not Earlham's. But I sometimes wish I'd have gone when Earlham's were around um, and filmed that. But that's it basically, my Eddie Stobart and James Earlham Corgi van collection.